All right, so the first thing that came up on YouTube when I typed in Ghost Adventures Full Episodes was Season 15, Episode 13. So that's what we're watching. Let's check it out. The Wolf Creek Inn. First of all, right off the bat, how come this dude looks like a mix between like, uh, like, like Chris Angel and Rob Deerdeck? Are you ready? I mean, he doesn't look like Chris Angel that much, but, or resemble him, but he has that energy about him. So it's like, like Chris Angel's, I should say, energy inside of Rob Deerdeck's body. 134. 134 years of energy, both good and bad, have passed through these doors. I mean, like, right there, like, what can't you say that about? Like, everything would sound like the house or the apartment or wherever you're in right now, you could say that same thing about. Like, that's like, we live on Earth. Like, people live, people die, people are in spaces, and then they're not. We live on Earth. People live, and then they die. People occupy certain spaces and then leave when they no longer need them. There is also the nerd entity that's... So far... The B-roll is like the creepiest part of this whole video. Like the B-roll is legitimately creepy, but that stuff is like the fake stuff. Like that's the stuff that they set up, you know? As Margaret begins to tell us about a malicious little spirit, we begin to hear loud footsteps directly above our heads. And I, and I Is there anybody up there? See, we hear that all the time. We all heard very loud footsteps to discover a room that was regularly used by legendary movie star, Mr. Clark Gable, a room where he is said to have secretly entertained numerous affairs. Here we go, here we go. They're doing an interview, they hear footsteps, they said a dude, a famous actor dude named Clark used to have sex in there, and now let's let's, let's go talk to him. It's like, okay, like how, how do you know for sure that that's Clark? Like, let's say Clark is dead and he's a ghost, but like they themselves have said that many people and many energies have been in and out of that space How do we know that those footsteps are Clark and not just some dude who forgot his? Ghost toothbrush and he wants to come back to get it. Oh, no, it has to be Clark The famous dude who was having extramarital affairs who has come now to haunt us. Why I have no idea We have tried to make contact with him and his wife's spirit before Who is making these loud footsteps? Bro, what the hell? Bro, what did that freaking Clark ghost just say? What did he just call me? It sounds to me like he said something I don't want to repeat. Sound like he said S P I C. You guys, I think Clark is a racist, dude. I mean, it was back in the day, you know, you know how people got down back then. Maybe even a little bit now, but um, let's not even get into that. I mean, Clark is out here showing his true colors. Let's hear that again. What did it say? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, feel this. Feel this. He's here. What are they doing here? They think they're like feeling some sort of spiritual energy. I'll tell you what they're doing. They're feeling the warmth radiating off of Clark's butthole as he's trying to have extramarital ghost affairs. But you keep interrupting, killing the mood with your static. Spirits and entities, we now meet Marcy, who claims she met the spirit of a girl. Look at all that they have to do. Like the lighting is super dramatic, right? They do like a dramatic pan up to her face. There's like a red light in the background. You can only see half of her face. They like strategically like make it feel super creepy with the music and the fonts and all that. It's a ghost show, I get it. I just feel like they wouldn't have to do all that if Clark was still actually up there like clapping ghost cheeks. You know what I mean? Like this, if Clark is up there clapping ghost cheeks, they're not b busting out the red light. That's all I'm saying. And I hear, hi. And so I turn. How loud was it? Loud. Hi. Ho Holy shit. That, that was actually the scariest part I've seen. 
the whole time. That little girl was freaking creepy, dude. I understand that you've had an experience with a little girl spirit trying to take your candy. Right. What kind of candy were you eating? Jolly Ranchers. How many Jolly Ranchers were you putting down a day? hundred. From over here, it sounded like you said you were putting down a hundred Jolly Ranchers a day. <laughs> at, at this point, I don't even think Zach is even here for like the ghost adventure. He's just, his mind is blown that freaking Jeff can slam down a hundred Jolly Ranchers a day. I don't know if his mind is blown or if Zach is like legitimately just concerned for Jeff. <laughs> One right after the other. It looks like Zach is super confused about Jeff's candy addiction. And then Jeff uses this confusion face as like a confusion about how he actually does it physically. So he tells him, one right after the other. It's almost as if he expects, after he says one right after the other, that Zach is gonna be like, oh, snap, okay, one right after the other. Okay, I wasn't sure, like, I thought you were just gonna like slam them all in your mouth all at once. I thought you were just gonna, I didn't know how you could fit a hundred Jolly Ranchers in your mouth. That makes sense now, one right after the other. Okay, I got, I got to Jeff. 100 pieces equals 1.3 pounds of Jolly Ranchers per day. Zach is like literally doing the math about how messed up this Jeff is on, on Jolly Ranchers. Do you know if maybe an overdose on Jolly Ranchers could produce hallucinations? I don't think so. A thousand percent Jeff was tripping balls on Jolly Ranchers. A thousand percent. The little girl's spirit was trying to steal one from you. Was she doing this? One or two times and then it went away. Did she take possession of it? Her hands were just going through it. She you were real protective of your Jolly Ranchers. My kids weren't allowed to touch my Jolly Ranchers. Um. This little girl's spirit is just as angry at Jeff for not sharing his Jolly Ranchers at- <laughs> Holy smokes. I like how serious they are about these Jolly Ranchers. Like, can you imagine being the daughter, like son of a tweaked out dad, but like he's tweaked out on Jolly Ranchers? I don't care if you're my own child or a paranormal child. No one touches my Jolly Ranchers. My kids weren't allowed to touch my Jolly Ranchers. Wife says she has a photograph of this little girl. You can see what appears to be a little girl. And it's always hard to tell with still photos. See, this is exactly what you have to expect when you're watching a ghost show or anything about paranormal stuff. Zach is telling me he's got a photo of a little girl while holding up a photo of an empty room. This is what they're trying to communicate with. Nothing. But you can see what appears to be the silhouette of a little girl. I like how they crop in and like completely ignore like the other light that's reflecting off the wood floor. Even with the part that they do include, like that bottom piece, like that doesn't really make sense. Like, like what is it? Like a girl on stilts or something? I don't, I don't know what. what I like, I kind of see what they're saying, but come on, dude, it's just, it's just light on wood, dude. It's just a little bit of light on some wood flooring. It's not some paranormal ghost girl who's trying to steal poor Jeff's Jolly Ranchers. Not 99, not 98. Jeff meets his 100 and they're trying to make it seem as if the light on the floor is trying to steal his Jolly Ranchers, which is not happening, Jeff. Don't worry, you'll get your 100, man. You'll get it. Don't you fret, my friend. We just didn't like to go in here. It felt negative. Can you go in there? I'll go in there. I just think it's funny because uh, Margaret, yeah, she's not actually talking. She didn't say that. <laughs> they just think, they just made it seem like she's saying, I'll go in there, but like, look at her mouth. Like, she's, she's not saying anything. They just put audio over it. I just think that's funny. I'll go in there. I just want to shut the door and see what happens in total darkness. Bro, why are you trying to take this poor sweet woman into total darkness, just you and her by yourselves? That's a little weird, man. 
Is it my eyes or is it like something seen, like they like moving around? Yeah. yeah. I'm seeing the same thing. Like short and tall. Yes. Like short and tall. Yes. Is that like getting aroused and then not aroused and then aroused and then not aroused? Cause if so, that's disgusting. Like dude. short and tall. I mean a little impressive. But still disgusting, dude. That's just that's just wrong, dude. Why are you trying to take this poor, sweet old woman into the freaking dark room, dude? Into total darkness, like you said, complete darkness. Just you and her, dude. That's freaking gross, Zach. Don't do that stuff. Go to church, dude. Dark or black at the bottom? Yes. All the way down? Yes. All the way down? All the way down? All the way down? Yes. All the way down? Yes. Are you the one that followed me all the time up here? And did she like suddenly realize that he's the one who's like been stalking her or something? Because that's what it sounded like. It sounded like she like put it together like, oh my god, are you the are you the one that's been stalking me? You know? Are you the one that followed me all the time up here? Yes. Margaret gets very uncomfortable, so now I want to get someone else in here. Can we just observe and see what happens with you? Um I don't know what sort of sick fantasies you have, Zach. But bringing in the third person isn't gonna make her feel more comfortable, dude. No, just no. Go back to the hotel and my entire body breaks out in hives. Something I've never had happen before. Why don't we have a video of the hives? Like we have video of literally everything else. And like this would be something easy to get because you could just lift a shirt and show it off. And like, why do the two pictures look like two different people? Like look. Like the, the, the hive like pattern is a little different and like how come like one dude looks a little fatter than the other and like one dude has like a couple of birthmarks around his nipple and the other guy doesn't? I know, I'm just saying, let's see your hived up nipples, Zach. And by the way, those hives aren't caused by any dark entities, dude. That's caused by a triple act of love that you do with strangers. You should know better, dude. And I understand that's what you're into, whatever, but like you run the risk of breaking out in hives and catching other kinds of infections, dude. But don't be blaming no freaking dark entity, Clark, or, or Clark's uh, mistresses, none of them. Don't, don't be blaming any of them. You know what you were doing in that completely dark room with those two fine elderly people, dude. I think I've seen enough. I don't think I'll be able to understand these dark entities completely unless I go ghost hunting myself. So you're feeling their energies in this space. Absolutely. All these energies that come in through this space, are they all good? Not good at all. Not good at all. What? Do you hear that? Yes. I hear the steps all the time. I'm gonna go check it out. I think that's where the dark energies are coming from. Well, maybe the neighbors. You think it's the neighbors? Yes, I think if the neighbors make the ghosts. Yeah, yeah, the ghosts. Yeah, yeah there's definitely ghosts. Okay. Let's go. Let's go try to communicate with them. Oh, okay. No ching is way. Yeah. Oh my god, yes, I hear that. That was the only voice that we've heard here today. Maybe it's a ghost. I think so. Do you feel that? Still, yes, yes, still feel. What is that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Funny smell, huh? What does that smell like? Funny smell, I don't know. Oh, this is disgusting. Disgusting. Whatever the spirit is doing, this is gross, this is wrong. Almost, this is wrong. I'm so afraid, I'm so oh. afraid. Oh my god. That's, something happened to me. I think we're gonna have to wash everything. I do. Let's get out of here. Let's get Stay out of here, you disgusting <laughs> ghost. We don't want anything. <laughs> This is the dark room. Yes, this is the dark room. No one ever goes in here. No. Why not? Because they have bad energy. You, f you feel bad energy? I can feel it, yes, yes, I can feel it. You feel bad energy radiating from here? Yes. Look, I don't want you to freak out, but I want it maybe even both of you can go in here and see what happens in complete darkness. You think so? I Let's think we go. should. Are Let's you okay go. with that? I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay. You can let me know at any time. All right. What's in that? Whoa. Whoa, immediately. Whoa, you feel that immediately. Funny smell. Oh, yes, definitely. Whoa. 
Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Uh, okay, but I like, can you smell in here? Yes, very, oh, very, very strange. Very uncomfortable. Are you the one who followed me yesterday? Uh... The weirdest thing happened to me when I got out of that room with all the dark entities and energies. My body started feeling weird and I just started breaking out everywhere. I have hair all over my body now. I don't think this is a coincidence that I got this strange reaction with bodily hair once I got out of that room. So you were saying you had an experience where a little girl tried to take your candy? Yes! About how many pieces a day? 100 candy! From over here, it sounded like you just said you were eating a hundred Jolly Ranchers a day. One after another. Now, if for any reason someone happened to grab one of your Jolly Ranchers, what would you do to them? If you touch my candy, I'm gonna cut your neck. All right, that's all we got for today. But look, let me tell you, I'm just having a little fun with the whole parody and commentary and all that stuff. Don't let me take away from your joy from liking whatever it is you wanna like. Because I will be the first to admit that I like some pretty corny and like fake and just flat out dumb stuff. So if you like what you like, like it. Don't let anybody ever change your opinion or enjoyment out of what you like to watch, what media you like to consume. And for what it's worth, my grandma was the one helping me shoot the video and she was totally down, which I'm grateful for. She's like, yeah, I'm down to shoot those stupid little, you know, ghost adventures uh, video you're gonna do. And I'm, she was down to make fun of it and everything. But then while we're shooting it, she starts telling me about an actual like paranormal ghost encounter she had like that night. <laughs> Here's the clip of that happening. Oh, do they that, that, that was scary last night. Very sad time. Esta llegó a la oscuridad y me tocó el hombro y pegó un temblado y un grito yo. Fíjate, es, es como un movie, es como una cosa. Y Verónica se fue ya caminando para allá para el baño y me dijo, dos que, dos que, no te espante, me dijo, no te espante. Y se metió al baño y salió al baño y se fue a su parte y ya no vino para acá. Dije que no acuerdo. A ti que es un hombre. Like, for what it's worth, I mean, there's that. If you like the video, don't forget to like it. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And it would mean a lot to me if you would use my affiliate link in the description down below. Click on it, buy something off of Amazon. It is of no extra charge to you, but it does help me out a lot. It gives me a little commission based off whatever you buy. So there's that. But if not, I still love you. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. I missed it.